What's up? I'm some random guy on the internet, and I'm going to try and explain how to play the uh, Hysteria solo by Muse. Um, okay, for starters, you should be looking at the uh, tab. Um, it's going to basically explain how to play the uh, whole song. <laughs> the only thing that it's not going to really show you is the rhythm. Um, for the beginning of the solo, we're going to be working down here on the uh, first and the third strings. It's going to be kind of important to skip over the second string, and you're going to need to get good at that, because to play it fast is a little bit challenging, but you'll get used to it. This is pretty much, uh, you could break it into parts, whatever, but it's, it's just variations of the same thing, and here it is. So hopefully you can kind of see where my fingers are at. Um, I got the 14th fret here on the 3rd string and the 12th fret on the 1st uh, string. That's basically my bass notes for that. And then it's just a slight variation. You move down to the 13th fret and you're playing the same thing. And then this one's just a little bit different. You got the 14th fret here and the 13th fret on the 1st string. And then your pinky's gonna get involved way down here, whatever fret that is. And then you're back at the beginning part again. So there's really only three parts you gotta learn, and it's played back to back. Um, you repeat it twice. Uh, you just basically gotta get fast at it. And then to get into the bridge is a little bit tricky. Um, instead of playing the beginning part again, you stop on the third part, but then you're going to add um, something to that. So, notice that third note there? It wasn't just... It's actually... <laughs> uh, it's kind of important, so here's a bridge. Basically, that's these notes. So here's the fingering for that. Um, start out with your index finger there, and your middle finger on the um, what's that? The 14th fret of the third string. And then you're going to add your, uh, that'd be your ring finger on the second string, 15th fret. Which now frees up your middle finger to jump down here to the 15th fret also. And now the natural thing to do is your uh, index finger is going to be on the 13th fret of the second string. And then 14th fret of the fourth string, middle finger. And then index finger is free again to go on to the 12th fret. And then the middle finger on the 12th fret, 4th string. So it's kind of like you walk down the uh, fretboard with, without having to really do any complicated stretching or bending whatever to get all your fingers to work on that. It's just, it's really natural to play. Okay, so here's the third part and the bridge played together. Alright, and you can pretty much learn that as a unit, because the next part's where it gets easier. <laughs> 